Does this mean we're all friends now? Okay, so today uh, the Senate passed the bipartisan infrastructure, the $1.2 trillion bill with 69 votes, 50, all 50 Democrats and 19 Republicans, including Minority Leader McConnell, crossed over to support this bill. Now, this bill has some holes in it. There are some things that, you know, we don't, not all of us like, whether you're a conservative, liberal, somewhere in between, libertarian, there's something not to like about this for everyone. But I think overall it's a good thing. There are people who are going to criticize and say, this is not the type of bipartisanship that we want and all that other stuff. You know, if you're in a really, really, really red district, you might be considered a sellout or something like that for siding with the Democrats. And if you're a Democrat, you might be, you know, well, you're a corporatist. You, you know, some of this is going to require privatization and, you know, and so on and so on. Look. I subscribe to the Barack Obama school of politics where he said sometimes these things have to move in increments. And I, I'm okay with that. There's another bill coming that's supposed to be coupled with this that's not likely to get nearly the same amount of Republican, if any, support. So I do think it was worth it. I think it's powerful because there's so many people last year during the campaign that said, you know, Joe Biden, how are you going to get these Republicans to work with you? How are you going to do this? I think there is something to be said about some of that old school machine politicking that goes on behind the scenes. Look, yeah, some a lot of that is corporatist and a lot of that is this and that. But in this case, I'm okay with it. I think coupled with the additional bill, we should be fine. You know, there are some things that I'm really happy that we're going to get in this country. You know, paid universal leave, you know, high speed, broad, you know, broadband f for everyone. You know, these are basics. I mean, there are poor countries that have these things. And we always tell ourselves we're the richest country on earth. And we don't take, we don't even have these things. I always say to people when they say, well, I'm proud to be an American. We're the richest, most powerful country in the history of the planet. And I say, take it easy. You happen to be a worker in the richest and most powerful country in the world. Those riches and those benefits don't extend to you. Because uh, like I'm fond of saying, I've said this in other videos, if Bank of America needed a bailout tomorrow, they'd get it. If you, proud to be in a citizen of the richest country in, America, in the world, needed support from your government, if you your house was wiped out and you didn't have sufficient insurance, ain't nobody coming to help you, okay? So I'm happy that we're putting in some, some guardrails. This is a great country. We have a lot of wealth. We generate a lot of wealth. We have enough wealth to support everyone and support the dreams of all of our citizens, to give all of our children and all of our elderly people the care and the support that they need to be the most in the best versions of themselves. So I think this is a step in the right direction. Let's see what happens with the rest of his agenda. And, you know, I'm sure there's some really good, I've heard some really good ideas on the Republican side too for some other things. So I'm hopeful that there can be compromise on some of those things. And look, do I have, am I under any illusion that suddenly, you know, Minority Leader McConnell and the rest of the Republicans are going to, no, absolutely not. For them, it's just politics. You know, these are the people who tell you not to take a vaccine, but won't tell you if they themselves have been vaccinated. So, you know, I know that they don't always, they don't always communicate or argue in good faith because, you know, the cult is real and they have that cult behind them and they're prisoners to that cult. They're the leaders, but they're also the prisoners of the cult as well. So I have no illusions, but I think today was a step in the right direction, and I'm looking forward to see what's next.